So in this video, it is uh, solve problems based on mean of grouped data by direct method. And we've got the question here, which reads like this. Find the mean of the following distribution. So we've got X, you know, the variate, you know, which changes whatever that is. The top, that's 4, 6, and 9, and 10, and 15. So the frequency of 4 is 5. The frequency of 6 is 10. Something like 4 has occurred 5 times. 6 has occurred 10 times. 9 has occurred 10 times. We do not know what exactly this data is, but yeah, we just need to understand it that way. So now what we have to do is we just have to make table, say, XI. That is uh, 4, 6, 9, 10, and 15. And then FI. You know, this is again 5, 10, 10, 7, and 8. And then we have FI, XI. You remember the formula for uh, finding the mean of group data is given by X bar equals summation N I equals 1. F I X I. So it means the I here it starts from one and then it goes on till n. That's what it means. It goes on to whatever that is. Here it's one, two, three, four, five. So it's go it goes on till five. You need to sum them all up. Divided by the capital N. Capital N was nothing but the sum of the frequencies. So that is why we are you know specifically doing this F I X I. Four times five is twenty, six times ten is sixty, nine times ten is ninety. 10 times 7 is 70 and 15 times 8 is 120. So the sum of all this is 20 plus 60, 80. 80 plus 90 is 170. 170 plus 70 is 240. 240 plus 120 is 360. So we get summation of FI XI is 360. Remember, we also need the capital N, right? Now the capital N is nothing but it is the sum of the frequencies. So 5 plus 10 is 15. 15 plus 10 is 25. 25 plus 7 is a 32, 32 plus 8 is 40. So here we've got 40, right? So we've got the data here. So all that we have to do is, you know, uh, substitute in the formula. So now that we've got the summation of Fi, Xi, and then the summation of the frequency, which is capital N, we can find the mean, which is equal to X bar. So in the place of this, we've got 360. And in the place of N, we've got 40. So 40 goes 9 times in 360. Therefore, the mean of the given distribution is exactly equal to 9. Right? So this ends this problem. We'll quickly solve another problem before we end this video. So right here, we've got a problem which uh, reads uh, like this following table shows the weight of 12 students, right? Uh, there are totally 12 students split into 4, 3, 2, 2, and 1 based on their weights. So their weights are given here. Uh, four of them weigh 67 kgs, three of them weigh 70 kgs, two of them weigh 72 kgs, another two of them weigh 73 kgs, another one of them weighs 75 kgs. So we need to find their mean weight, find the student's mean weight. So, you know, we have to find the arithmetic mean or mean. So, draw the table. So, we've got weight, which is, so we've got weight, which is in kgs. So, this is xi. And then we've got the frequency, that is the number of students, which is fi. And then we've got fi and xi. So, the weight is 67, 70, 72, 73, and 75. The number of them with that weight is 4, 3, 2, 2, and 1. So what is Fi Xi? 67 times 4 is 67 times 4 is 268. And 70 times 3 is 210. And 72 times 2 is 144. 73 times 2 is 146. And 75 times 1 is 75. So the sum of the Fi Xi comes up to 843. The sum of the frequency which will be used to for n is nothing but 12, but it's already given, you know, 12 students. So now all that we have to do is substitute the values in the equation or the formula, which is x bar equals summation n i equals 1 f i x i divided by capital N, so which is 843 divided by 12 which gives us 70.25 kgs. 
So therefore, the mean weight of the 12 students is found to be 70.25 kgs or 70 and a quarter kgs. So all that you have to do is just, you know, this is the formula. You've got the data here. You need to know which is X and which is frequency. Always the number of them having certain thing. Now that's the frequency. How many times 67 occurs? How many times 70 occurs? That's the frequency. So, you know, as long as you can identify that, you should be able to solve problems based on mean of group data by direct method very easily. So this ends another easy problem. And this also ends this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on mean of group data by direct method. Thank you.